Needs Knives, I'm Jared with my lovely wife, Kara. And we're at Blade Show 2023. Let's get it. We're here with Notorious EDC checking out some of his slip joints. Awesome, awesome little slip joints. Nice hollow ground blades. Very smooth action. Super smooth action. And nice acoustics. This one has my Carta with the bolster lock, but they do have a full titanium here. Great pull point on that fuller. Nice snap. Okay, we are at OEG EDC, and he's pretty new. He's got some really cool stuff here. Some little EDC fixed blades. We got a nice little cleaver here. And yeah, he's got some pretty cool stuff here. And then this is an oyster chucker. You know what that one's for? Why it's special? I'll tell you. It also has a sheath. For your, but it's in MagnaCut, by the way. I think he's gonna do some other stuff in other materials, but this one happens to be a MagnaCut. Do it. All right, ready? All right, we are at No Knives checking out their new prototypes. What's the name of this one? This one's called the Raikou. The Raikou. Raikou? Yeah, it's a one clip version of the Raiden. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, so very got a smooth. bigger blade in there, 3.5 inch versus 3.3. Yeah, that's very cool. Yeah. Full titanium, then you got the carbon fiber. And the fat carbon, very cool. Yep. S90V steel. S90V? Yep. Super snappy. Yeah. Great thumb stud deployment. Titanium mill pocket clip and backspacer. Super duper smooth. Yeah, these are really cool. Thank you. And then the fuller, you always have that little fuller for the reverse flip. Yep. And then you have this, what are these? This guy is called the Ghoul. The Ghoul? Yeah, this is a three inch inset liner lock front flipper. Oh, well, that's smooth. Yeah, and we got a steel lock bar insert in there as well with the titanium liner. Nice, so yeah, titanium liner lock, inside titanium, steel lock bar insert on the titanium liner lock. Blade steel is S90V, S90V again, and it's got the front flipper deployment that works really, really good. Super duper snappy. You could use it in any direction. But then you also have that fuller, so you can reverse flick it. Great ergonomics, especially for a little compact clip point. This is gonna be a great size for a lot of people. Awesome color options. How's this lighting, good? Beautiful Timascus one. Woo. Try to keep that hand out. Yep, yep, yep. Now, let me get close up on this. Go ahead. All right, we are at Devo Knives checking out his USA production growler. So this is the USA growler, and he has a couple different versions here. Um, beautiful, beautiful work, very slim. You can see how broad the blade is. What blade steel is gonna be on this one? Uh, Magna Cut. Magna Cut steel. 63. 63, love to hear that. It is slightly contoured, beautiful inlay work. You can't even feel the transition. The OEM that's doing this did, is doing incredible work. And who is the, the name of the? Shank Knives. Shank Knives is the, the make, maker of, or the manufacturer of the, the new growler. Okay guys, we are at Day of Dallas Knives and they have a bunch of really cool, all different kinds of knives. This one's a slip joint. It's very long, very slim. Great uh, acoustics on this too. And there's lots of different versions of this model. And you see they have a bunch of different versions, different options. Now, next they have a locking knife that is really cool actually. So it obviously has a bottle opener on the back. It is a liner lock and it's a front flipper, but it's a very snappy little front flipper. <laughs> you can see it looks like a little slip joint. And it does have a Timascus clip and the Timascus inlay on this side. You can do the actual thumb flip. 
And they have a couple different styles of that version as well. You see this one's got the bottle? No. This is one of the custom fixed blades. It does come in a bunch of different styles and color options. What blade steel is this? CPM 154 steel. Very slim, very pokey. And then last here, we have a cool little liner lock. Super snappy, front flipping action. This one has titanium, but there is different options, different versions. From carbon fiber, it looks like G10. You can see a couple different versions here. Very, very smooth. We are at Arc Form and we have the new Theory in M390 with titanium, titanium frame lock. Super smooth action. And you see it has a, a thumb stud that looks like it can be used from any direction. So you can reverse flick it, thumb flick it, or thumb roll it. And I can't, I don't know if I can front, yeah, you can front flip it. Yeah, very cool. So I'm not sure if that was intentional or not, but good ergos, great access to the lock bar, and they have multiple different versions. Saber. Then we have the Saber, which is another new knife from Arc Form. Great reverse flicking action, liner lock, very smooth action, beautiful blade of uh, 20 CV, 20 CV steel. Great looking micarta, deep carry clip inset with flat screws. Good access to the lock bar. And again, lots of different versions here. This one's real smooth. Oh, can we get it? Mostly flipper. Okay, we're here at Dagger Knives and they have a new automatic coming out this year. Has it feels like aluminum handles and then D2 steel. Dagger style blade shape. Side opening automatic. Nice snappy action, great size. You can see they have it a couple different colors. Oh no, I guess it's only one color. Uh, this is different grind. Oh, different grind, okay, okay. Very cool. And this looks like the manual version. Yeah. Very cool. Very. All right, go ahead. I've been going. And then we have, or they have, a new Bally. Titanium handles, titanium handles. What's the blade steel? VG10. VG10 blade steel. Again, obviously a dagger style blade shape. Do you have the lock here? Looks like it's spring loaded. Or maybe not. Maybe it still works. Is that spring? Oh, there it goes, yeah. There you go, spring loaded. No pocket clip, back spacers. All right, guys, so a little gent knife from Dagger Blades. This is the cigar knife. And you can see it has the hold up one, so you can actually one hand operate it for a slip joint. And you still got the Dagger style pocket clip. Nice little finger groove right there, or you can go right over the top of it. Very smooth. Nice snappy opening, thin grind. And you can always pop a cigar in there and chop it. 
So it could be your EDC knife or your cigar knife or both. First this is your first design? Yep. What's your name? Braden. 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 Nice yeah. to meet you, Braden. I'm Jared. What's the name of this one? Kamasu. The Kamasu? Yep. The right Kamasu. I like it. Love that blade shape. Super snappy. Bolster lock. Actually, it's a frame lock with yep. a bolster lock on that side or bolster on that yep. side. Awesome, awesome. And this guy. Woo. That's unique. It's <laughs> integral This one's an integral? Yeah, integral. Nice. Oh, that's different. That's unique. Come get, get a close up of that. It, it's a liner lock, but it pops through where you can actually see it right there. I don't want to cut that. Very smooth. You see that liner right there, and it is an integral, so it's all one solid piece of titanium. Very ergonomic. Some of a clip point tanto. Super duper smooth. Very cool. It's like the uh, 5D, the 5 knife, the uh, 5, five versions. Okay, five, five different five versions. versions. Yeah. yeah. What's the name of this one? 5D. What was it? Bidey. The Bidey? Bidey. 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 Oh, Bidey. Bidey. Okay, I got it. I got it. Then the, built -in tool. then the Reich Bidey. And it looks like he has, it says he has a built in tool. He's going to show us. Okay. Then you can use it as, to take it apart? Yes. Oh, that's cool. Very innovative. Awesome, awesome. What else we have? Then we have, this one's been out. Uh, Cybertruck, Cyber yeah. Cybertruck. And then these two, have these two uh, been out already? Rebellion. Rebellion? Rebellion. Rebellion. Super unique, man. Reich always does very unique knives, very innovative knives. has a new locking mechanism okay pivot. the pivot it has a spring plate that makes it have a friction when you tighten so it doesn't it's uh, anti-walk basically you don't need any lock type nice so right so it won't it won't loosen up yeah okay that's cool i'd love to see how that's done yeah very awesome thank you guys i appreciate it thank you